In this podcast, I will be discussing sociocultural theory as it relates to lifespan psychology. So this was a theory that was developed by Lev Vygotsky, and uh, he was a psychologist from, the, from Russia, the former Soviet Union at the time. And his main idea really contrasts with Jean Piaget. And Piaget, if you recall, believes that uh, as children growing into adults, our cognitive development, our ability to think logically and solve problems is more or less innate that we grow through certain stages that and then our mind opens up a new door allowing us to see the world in a different way and to solve more complex problems. Now the sociocultural perspective from Vygotsky, if you think about the word sociocultural, right, society, sociology, and culture, that has to do with our environment. So he believed that our learning, our thinking ability is stimulated based on the people around us, our culture, right? And so there are a few concepts I want to highlight here just to go over his theory, just so you get a general idea. And again, this is a typical, uh, a very popular concept that you'll find in a uh, first-year college-level developmental psychology course. All right, so if you think about some of these things, I think you can relate to them. Um, I think in life, at any stage, whether we're children or adults, we usually have apprentice uh, mentors, right? We, we act as apprentices. And oftentimes we can learn things on our own, but we hit a wall, right? We hit a limit as to how much we're able to develop a skill or gain knowledge of a certain subject on our own. And if you think about what teachers are, parents, older siblings, cousins, um, a boss, a supervisor. These are all people that act as mentors and guide us in our learning. So guided participation, apprenticeship, these are terms that are used by Vygotsky to describe how we learn from others. Okay, And they may stimulate our curiosity, for example. And one of the main ideas is abbreviated Z. PD, which is the zone of proximal development. So if you imagine an inv invisible bubble around us, right, the smallest bubble around us is what we're able to do and, and comfortably on our own and learn on our own, right? And again, we reach a limit. Let's say I want to learn to play the guitar, okay? So I can watch YouTube videos. In a way, that's, that's a modern form of guided participation, right? I mean, before, we would just have to rely on a book. Okay, and uh, play on our own and then we reach a certain skill level and then this zone that this middle zone that Vygotsky describes is where it's ideal for a teacher a mentor to guide us to improve our skill level and then outside of that zone is a more expert level or higher level skills that we probably would not have been able to achieve just on our own okay so think about any small skill as a child as an adult that we're learning whether it's a professional skill or a hobby uh, sports or music right we go through these stages where we do stuff on our own then we then we increase our skills through a mentor right in the zone of proximal development okay and then we're able to become more or less experts in that area and have a more ma increased mastery of those skills and another term that's used by Vygotsky is called scaffolding and if you think about what a scaffold is normally is the support system outside a building when they're constructing it right so it's a support system that helps us if we're the building to develop and grow okay and so scaffolding is the support that a teacher gives us that helps us to increase our skills one step at a time okay so we have terms like apprenticeship just to summarize guided participation zone of proximal development and scaffolding all are pieces of the social cultural theory okay now it doesn't mean that this theory is superior than piaget's cognitive development theory but they complement each other 
perhaps one could not exist without the other. Okay? That is one way to interpret it. Okay, I think that's it for this short podcast. I hope you found it useful. And this is Dr. C, and I'll talk to you soon.